Yo, what is up? Joshua Casper here with another quick Ableton tip. This is on working with some remix packs and stems and stuff like that. I've got this remix pack from my boy Minubru. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but uh, that's what I'm guessing. I've never heard anyone say it. Anyway, if you haven't heard of this guy, you should go check out his stuff. If you like Funky Glitch Hop, which is kind of like what I'm into at the moment, uh, definitely go check out his stuff. And uh, he has honored me with sending me his um, free tune, Under Your Spell, funky glitch hop. So as you can hear, it's a super dope track, and he said I could go ahead and remix it, which is just super dope. But when I come in here, and I've just, what I've done is just taken all of the stems I got from the pack and dropped them in here, and I turn the warp off, and I bring them all, the play cursor, all the way over. And they should all pretty much line up, and they all do except for this wubs. But uh, uh, I don't know why that little last part didn't get exported, but um, it is synced up anyway. So that's what's really important. But if we come into the drums here, the first thing I would do to see if it's all synced up to um, the tempo is I'd find out the tempo. And this track tempo is 100 BPM. And if I come into where these drums, drums come in full swing and I look for that first kick drum, I can see that it's not dropping right on my, uh, my bar here. And that's where I want it to be when I start adding my own stuff. It just makes things much more simple and I can work much more quickly. That's my style. So, um, I mean, unless you're going to be playing everything live, you really don't need to do that. But um, if you're going to be using pro... Thank you, Avast. But um, if you're going to be just you know programming stuff like I do a lot of uh, work just programming, then it's really important to have everything synced up. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do it. Now, some of the people might come in and come to this play cursor and then manually try to bring it over like this, which can work. But not all of these are very easy to see, and also it would take a lot of time. So I'm going to show you a quick way to do it. Um, come into that drum track, like I was saying, and just highlight the dead space before the drop is supposed to happen. So now that I have that, I'm going to control C to, to copy it. And then I'm going to come over to the beginning of this first track, and I'm going to drop my play cursor here and control V to paste it. And if you zoom in, this is the dead space that I need to get rid of in the beginning of all of these stems. So the next thing I'd have to do is zoom out, and I'm just going to highlight everything. And you can also do, um, I think, Control-A to select all or something. But now that I have everything selected, I'm going to hold down Shift and click where this little uh, section ends. And what that does is it highlights all of these tracks right where that dead space ends. And then I could just take this first one and drag it over. And that's going to do that for all of these. And now everything is synced up. So if I come out to where that drum comes back in and look at it, it should drop right on the 17. And boom, it does. So that's pretty cool. And I quickly made everything synced up. And I'm ready to start my remix. So uh, make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. And Go to the SoundCloud of the blog to hear this remix when it's finished. Um, I'm starting today. It's November 16th, so we'll see how long it takes. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.